What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another player of the week video. So we're going to be doing a complete breakdown on these. Now look lads, I'm going to be straight up, right? I play a lot of whole players, okay? And I think having Messi, Messi is definitely the pick of the bunch here. Obviously he's going to get overshadowed by Ronaldinho this year or this week um, with Ronaldinho in the pack and Iniesta. But genuinely, lads, I think this could be one of the best cards that they have released. Apart from the acceleration and speed, which is quite low, everything else with this card and the fact that he's a whole player is insane, right? You, we'll have a look at him in a second. But we've also got Musiala and Xavi Simmons, who's down as a centre midfielder for Musiala. And uh, Simmons is going to be a left winger. So there's a lot to get through here, but we will go through it quite quick and just concentrate on the big players here. So first up, we've got our traditional goalie. Even though he's a massive giant of a man, lads, this guy does not have low punt or long throw, and he only has standard form. Now, he's on A rating, but for me, that is a big no-no. Um, I'm not going to be using him if I get him. We also have our destroyer center back, as we usually have. Blocker interception, standard form on A rating, fine, but acceleration and aggression is too low, in my opinion, so we're not even going to waste too much time on him. Now, look, before anyone complains and says, oh, this guy is good, or this guy is that, or whatever... I mean, I'm just talking as if, you know, you have fairly decent players in your squad, you know, and especially for me on my road to glory, these probably would be a small bit of an upgrade, but they're not going to make any real upgrade. Like even Pinnock here, this guy is down as a destroyer. He's fairly tall. He's fairly slow with the acceleration. You don't need that, but he's got actually good aggression. So that is somebody that I would definitely take a look at on a form interception blocker, area superiority and heading with man marking a sliding tackle and fighting spirit. So that is somebody that I would take a look at because even though his acceleration is a little bit small or a little bit low, um, he does have good physical contact. He does have good aggression and he does have fairly good uh, defensive stats. So I would throw him in if I did get him on my road to glory, but on my other account, I'm probably not going to. And then we've got this guy as a center midfield as well. Uh, General Major himself. One touch pass, double touch is always nice. He's got unwavering form. Um, this is a player that I would definitely take a look at if you do get him for free because he is a whole player. Play him as an AMF. He's pretty decent. I mean, I do like the fact that he's got good balance, good offensive awareness. With the player form boost, he's going to get stats into the 90s and the high 80s, which is always decent. And, you know, as a kind of a, a, a relatively under the radar type player, you know, you're not going to have the big names such as Messi or Musiala or, or Simmons. Uh, this guy could be, you know, kind of the hidden gem of the pack. Right, so on to the big players, lads, in this, as we have a look at Simmons, the 19-year-old. I think that this prolific winger version of Simmons is a little bit of, yeah, for me, I'm going to be playing him AMF, lads, and, you know, I have a better version of him there. If you haven't used him before, he is an extremely good player um, as an AMF. The MVP version of him that released a while back was just an absolute monster. The biggest problem with him was his finishing and his stamina, and that seems to be fixed with this left winger version of him. But then you've only got 83 acceleration, which isn't great, and the dribbling at 79, and offensive awareness isn't great at that either for a winger. If you are crossing a lot of balls in, he doesn't have early cross. He doesn't have pinpoint cross either, um, but he does have one touch pass and double touch. So yeah, small bit of a, I think I would have liked to seen a faster version of him, but obviously he's not rapid quick in real life. This guy, Grimaldo, lads, I had him in my first ever road to Division 1, and he was a monster. He kind of reminded me a little bit of... Um, uh, Jao Cancelo, that's who he kind of reminded me of in the fact that you could play a little bit of ball with him, he could play left or uh, left midfielder or left back, um, he can't play on the right side, but huge stamina, huge speed, huge acceleration, and excellent dribbling stats for a player that is going to be mostly playing offensively as a left back, and you've also got pinpoint crossing, which I love, you've also got long ball expert and early crosser, which is brilliant for a player like this, and he's got 81 low pass and 82 lofted pass, so I do like this guy with double touch, um, one touch pass would have been nice, but I definitely think he will be an upgrade unless you have an epic left back or somebody that you've trained up fairly high. Xhaka, again, the biggest problem with Xhaka, lads, is going to be his pace or lack thereof. He does have standard form, which is a bit of a pity, and he doesn't have, oh, he does have one touch pass, sorry, lads, he does, but he doesn't have blocker um, or interception, which is unusual. This guy is down as a center midfielder. I would prefer him as an anchorman, or I would prefer to play an anchorman, and if my box-to-box -box doesn't have 75 plus acceleration, I don't really want to know about it. Aggression is hugely high, hugely high, hugely impressive here, um, 93. 
90 stamina, 90 lofted pass. I think the acceleration does let him down, but if you want to sit him in the hole and have a lot of like defensive cover behind him, that will just, you know, be able to mop up. Um, he could dominate with that high aggression, especially if you let the AI defend for you, which a lot of people do. Next up, we have got Alataro Martinez. There's been multiple versions of Martinez. This guy's down as a goal poacher. Um, kind of reminds me of Romario lads. I'm wavering form on A rating. I don't think he's as good as Romario. Obviously, nobody is. But yeah, he's a pretty decent goal poacher. You've got high offensive awareness. You've got good finishing. You've got good balance. You've got good acceleration. You've got everything pretty decent. And including you've also got aggression that with the form arrow is going to go, um, you know, with the rest of the stats, aggression at 78 is quite decent. So, um, yeah, he's a fairly good center forward. Does he look like a 94 overall center forward? Not to me. No, he doesn't. To be honest with you, he doesn't look like a 94 rated center forward to me at all. And Griezmann is kind of in a similar boat, right? Griezmann is a deep line forward. Uh, he still doesn't have his new hair, um, but he's back with the unwavering form. As a super sub, one of the best super sub cards that you can get in the game. Double touch, one touch pass, first time shot. Brilliant trio of stats for a center forward as a deep lion. And he also has true passing as well, which is huge. Um, you can play him left, right, or through the middle, AMF, SS, or CF. So he gives you a lot of mobility, a lot of versatility as a utility man. 90 ball control, 87 dribbling, 86 finishing, 82 acceleration, 88 offensive awareness is pretty decent for Griezmann. Somebody that I haven't really used too much this year, but I might give him a pop if we do get the player of the week version of him. So now we are on to Musiala. Um, fresh off winning with Bayern Munich. They have another pack out this week as well, the Champions campaign one. But this player of the week, Musiala, is down as a whole player as well. As I said, lads, whole player, in my opinion, is the best play style that you could have. And talking about super subs, this guy is probably, yeah, joint with uh, Griezmann as one of the best super subs that they've released in a while. Now, he does have standard form, but look at that pace, man. If you're looking for a whole player, right, this is a perfect card, an absolute, insanely perfect card, right? 90 acceleration, 90 dribbling ball control and tight possession, or 93 ball control. You've also got passing in at 89 and finishing at 81 insane if you are able to use Musiala he will be able to compete with the legends lads trust me he's an absolute machine you bring him on after 65 minutes with 25 minutes left to go or 30 minutes left to go this guy will change games for you especially with the super sub ability one touch pass dip and shot dip and shots I might do a tutorial on it they're so OP at the moment it's unreal especially if you use stunning dip and shots which a lot of people don't and then last but not least lad, we, lads we have the maestro himself Messi Fresh off the rumors that he could be joining Ronaldo over in that league. Um, we do have a whole player Messi as well. I think this player of the week selection is quite decent because any of those that you get, I mean, any of these five, six that you get here are going to be pretty decent. And any of these guys that you get, Musiala, Messi, Griezmann, and I would even throw uh, Grimaldo and Martinez in there are going to be pretty decent for my road to glory when I do get my free spin or two, okay? Um... But Messi, yeah, lads, you know what you're getting with Messi. If you can use Messi, right? The one thing I will say about Messi in any of his cards is the lack of acceleration is a little bit of a concern unless you train it up max. Now, the legend version of Messi, when we go over here to eFootball DB, the legend version of Messi and every other version of Messi that they release, including the standard ones, are either a creative playmaker or a deep line forward, right? So um, I would definitely think that this is an extremely good uh, version of him they did release a deep line forward me Messi and um, they have the creative playmaker and then the free version that they get for winning the world cup was the deep line as well there's loads of versions of him but this one is actually a whole player which means his AI will move a little differently and if you're playing a 3-5-2 as I'm doing in my um, two playthroughs at the moment with my road to glory and with my sweat mode um, you will see the importance of having whole players and creative uh, player midfielders creative uh, players there playmakers I definitely think Messi's a whole player is going to move differently, lads. He looks insane. If you can get used to his lack of blister and pace and speed, this guy is just unreal once he gets the ball at his feet. I mean, don't really pay too much attention to his lack of stats with the, with the speed and acceleration. It's all about balance, pass and move, touch and go with Messi and being able to shoot. 90 finishing. If you don't pass or if you don't shoot a lot with your attacking midfielder, 
then I definitely wouldn't bother playing with Messi. You know, I'd use somebody that has got like acceleration in the 90s, maybe like Musiala. Um, but I definitely think that this guy is going to be an absolute machine, whoever gets him for free or if you do spin. So that is it for the player of the week, lads. Let me know what you guys think and we will be back with another video quite soon. Peace. Don't forget to check out the live stream today, kicking off at around 2 o'clock, lads. Um, until then, I'll talk to you.